While we're at it, um, let's thank um, Michelle for her pledge of support um, with the Ultimate Divas hats. I guess you're about to talk yeah, to her. Yeah, that's Michelle in right here. She's making a pledge. She's right here. Ultimate Diva hat. Yes. I call her the hat lady, but I'm going to tell you something. She, she, she really got something. You should see these hats up here. That's why I'm glad we got Sharif here. He's doing filming now on Connect the Dots, and so people can see that I didn't have my hair cut today, but she can see the Divas hats right here. Right here, yeah. So we're gonna move that little thing aside. Can you see it now? You got a good shot. Oh my goodness! All right. So what? Uh, so what's our goal and where are we at when we get kicked off the air? Yes, uh, we are kicked off the air at 12:30. Our goal is 1,800. We are at 1,060. Oh, okay, so we need uh, another uh, $700. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I'd like people to do what Eugene did. Eugene just walked his pledge of support in. Eugene, we thank you very much uh, for your support. And while we're at it, let's also thank Sharon out of Houston. Sharon, we appreciate you, and thank you so much for this general, generous rather pledge of support to Connect the Dots. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon. We want to uh, let you know right here that uh, we appreciate you and everything Thing that you do out there in the big in the big city of Houston. You just heard an interview with Ella Joyce. She just came on the air. Of course, she's doing a one-woman show on Mother's Day, five o'clock, uh, at the uh, Worthen Center, the Cullen or Auditorium. This is the ensemble's ninth uh, annual celebration. And so, what we're saying to you is, is that we got it going on on Connected Dots, but we also are blessed and impressed to have in the studio the Hat Diva. Now. I don't care if you go north, south, east, or west. I don't care which hat diva you say you like the best. If there was two of them, the one that's in my audience is right here in the glass cage with me is the only one. She's the one, the only. And so we want to have online. Is her microphone hot, brother? All right. Welcome. Welcome and good morning. This Thank is Michelle Owens with the Ultimate Divas Designer Hats. I'm so happy to be here and to give my support, to pledge my support to KPFT. Thank you so much. And when we got her here and we got these hats here, and brothers and sisters, you should really see these hats. You talk about church lady hats? Maybe. But this is like you want to stand out in a crowd. You need to come on and be dressed, not from eyebrow to toe, not from uh, toe to neck, not from toe to waist. You got to be dressed from head to toe. And that's what the ultimate hat diva is all about. But you always come around around Mother's Day and you do a thing in particular. And, you know, we we, we really, I, I, I remember going to a church program for Reverend C.L. Jackson. It was like his anniversary. And, I mean, the hat divas were in the house, you know, <laughs> that old school church lady hat divas. And I'm not talking corny. I'm talking about Ace Deuce Trey, broke over hat, hanging here, hat and there, <laughs> matching from head to toe, just looking beautiful. Tell us about the hat and why it's important and what is an expression thereof? What is it? Well, traditionally, African-American women have always worn hats to church, um, and we're seeing more and more of them in more communities. And basically, um, they believe that when you present yourself before God, that you should look your very best. So we start on Saturday night preparing for our Sunday best. And I'm so happy uh, that we are going to have our annual spring hatitude coming tomorrow. Wait a minute. Spring hatitude. Spring hatitude. Man, turn up her mic, brother. <laughs> Check that spring hatitude, brother. Did That's you hear that? Exactly go ahead, right. Queen. Go ahead, go ahead. It's a spring hatitude hat trend event, and it will be held tomorrow from 11 to 3 p.m., Thursday and Friday from 11 to 3 p.m., and we will be introducing some of the new spring styles for hats. Uh, and it's going to be located at the Black Heritage Gallery. That's where our boutique is located, 5408 Almeda. That's 5408 Almeda. And if you want a sneak preview, you can always log on to our website at www.hatdivas.com. That's www.hatdivas.com from 11 to 3 inside of the Black Heritage Gallery. Now, what got you involved with that? I mean, you know, it must have been as a little girl seeing the hat divas, the ultimate hat divas doing their thing. But what made you continue on that tradition? You know, sometimes we have very special people that do very special things, and regardless of whom or what, and it's sometimes at the cost of being mocked, like I have been in, in my own life, being mocked. Says, Robert, what's wrong with you? Why you have this kind of like this, this uh, fixation on doing certain things? I just feel like I was born to do it. What what led you to do the things that you do, sister? 
When I looked around the church, I saw that the ladies who were adorning hats seemed to have a style of sophistication and elegance. And that's really what caught the gentleman's eyes. So to be quite honest with you, it was a man. Uh, <laughs> honesty! My God, well, how refreshing to have some honesty. Is that right? That's what I'm talking about. Brother Linton, you see these hats in here? Now, you mind Kathleen's unique uh, unique fashions? Throw a hat on some of that. And she cr- Oh, brother, it'd be all over, man. Be all over but the shouting, brother. We'd be counting them out. <laughs> They'd be down and out. So tell us again about this event and how they can get in touch with you, the website, all of that, Queen. Certainly. On tomorrow, Thursday and Friday from 11 to 3, we will be showcasing our designer spring hats for the spring season. And it's located 5408 Almeda, which is inside of the Black Heritage Gallery. And for a sneak preview, you can always log on to our website, which is www.hatdivas.com. Once again, that's www.hatdivas.com. And just so you know, we were also written up in the Chronicle for the Aretha Franklin replica hat and just wanted to bring a picture of that today and, and our... Uh, attendees to the event will also get a chance to feel and try on Aretha Franklin's replica inaugural hat. So we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow from 11 to 3 p.m. at the Black Heritage Gallery located at 5408 Almeda. All right, that's the hat diva herself, and we want to make sure that you go on out and support her. And as I say, you know, connect the dots. We put the hump in hump day so you get to hear about what's happening on the weekend when you come right here. Oh, we want to thank you. Oh, thank you so much for, yes. for that. We appreciate that so much. And there are benefits. There are bennies that come along with being a part of Connected Dots crew. That's what, You hear the man singing, money. That's what I want. Turn that up, brother. What do you say? I want y'all to call right now. We, money is what we need. 713-526-5738. 713-526-KPFT. And we want to know the ultimate hat diva. Go to www.com hatdivas.com make sure it's guaranteed to bring out the diva in you so come on with the come on that's a gift certificate we got a gift certificate for you now the next person that walks in here with their pledge of a hundred dollars or more we got a gift certificate from the hat diva now it's going to throw off Dwayne and everybody to organize this thing but if you walk in here and make that pledge by the time 12.30 come around, right on Connected Dots. I've got a $25 gift certificate for you for $100 pledge. I'm just going to give it to you and have a Dwayne and work it out. That's their business. But this comes from the hat diva herself. Hey, that's what I want. I'm money. That's what I want. 713-526-5738, 713-526-KPFT. You're listening to Connected Dots. I'm your host, Brother Rob Muhammad. Of course, the queen of radio is a cool host. She is the stealth producer. Never seen, but always felt the one and only Akua Hope. But she comes on Pan-African Journal every Sunday at 8 o'clock right here on KPFT. So give us a call, 713-526-5738, 713-526-KPFT. Well, thank you, Queen. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right. Oh, my God. Rodney Griffin is in the house. We got people just dropping by. We got.